the way things can be resolved first. I've forgotten already where we are with uh, Law and Duffy. They're at the bridge, right? Yeah, they're at the bridge. They're facing off. Granny just left. Okay, yeah, so that's where they are. <laughs> that storyline's not going anywhere anytime soon. They're dragging that the hell out. Didn't we have a revolution with little people? This has been a weird week because, like, I, um, you know, I recorded two episodes and I realized the next six episodes didn't have sound, so I had to re, -re, -re screen record those. And then I screen recorded two of them, no problem. But, but then, then the last four, the, the ones I'm currently watching, I had to screen record three different times to actually get a good copy. Like, it's just, you know, one time, because every now and then you record it and then you go to save it and it won't work. It, it's a, This is a Mickey Mouse operation here. Okay. And then another time I I got in the wrong episodes. I was doing um I was doing six sixty eight to six seventy one instead of six fifty eight to six sixty one. I was so pissed. It's been a week, right? So it, there's been all these damn delays of me trying to watch this shit. And I was already late in the week, so it's been longer than usual since I'd watched the previous episodes. I'm gonna do a shit ton today. Once I get past the stumbling block of the yeah, because I still have one more to screen record. Uh six sixty one is the last one I need. Once I get past the stumbling block, it's full speed because I have a shit ton recorded after that. I checked. They have sound. We're good. But my point is, though, like, I'm just trying to reassess where everybody is. Okay, we got the people at the bridge. I think the little people were going to do a, a the the fairies were going to do a revolution. So we're kind of, like, stalled there. There hasn't been much. They're going to they're gonna attack the factory at some point. Meanwhile, Zoro and, and the Samurai just stand outside the Coliseum with their thumbs up their asses. And at least we have the dumbass finally fan finally reached Luffy, so maybe we can get some story development, some plot progression. Jesus Christ, man. Let's go. I'm ready. The pacing's been a little weird. We may have one too many storylines going on. I mean, we have, you can't judge it till you get to the end of the story arc. One of the biggest problems I had with EFAP, I, I, again, I was I want to do so many videos. I did one today about YouTube comments. I, I find myself having opinions about shit and wanting to make videos about everything, and I've got to control myself because I'm way behind on reactions. And reactions are what people want from me. They don't care about my opinion. They want reactions. But I want to do a hit piece on, literally a hit piece this time, on EFAP because they're, 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 they're showing such bad faith against the Acolyte. You know, they put out a video, and it's just such bad faith. And one of the things that's bad faith about it is you have to wait till the end of a season to judge the season. You have to wait, and you can't criticize writing decisions in the middle of the season. That's what they're doing. They're, they're, week to week, they're being bad faith criticism, bad faith criticism here and there, bad faith criticism all over the place. There, you can raise points, but you have to reserve judgment until the season's over. You can't judge The Shining on Chapter 14 about the whole story. You're, you can, but you're a fucking idiot if you do it. Let me just put it that way. You're a fucking idiot. You can't do that, man. Like, you gotta, you gotta see the whole story and then see how everything lines up and see where everything fits, how logical is it all, do the character decisions make sense, etc. I have other separate problems with what they're talking about. They want everybody to mid-max every situation like it's a video game and you can play the level 50 times but you only get one shot in real life. You know, stories also be in real life. So, unless it's a repeating day story, you only get one shot. You can't min-max everything. But the biggest problem I have is just judging shit in the middle of the story. So I can't judge the story arc, the pacing of it, till we get to the end of the story arc. And so far, I have not gotten to the end of a single story arc and been like, wow, that sucked ass. I've questioned the pacing of a couple of them. But I've never thought one sucked. This one, I don't think will suck. But the pacing is, it should be brought into question. But then again, it's been a weird week. Maybe it's just a weird week. Maybe it's me. You know, because I want to watch a bunch in a row and I keep getting these these roadblocks. So that, that frustration may be like waiting a week between episodes, right? Anyway, let's get to it. At least I got sound on this one. Three, two, one. Okay, well, they kind of tell me here, too, what's going on. You got, so you got those four on the ship, okay. Yeah, I mean... I want to see the attack on a factory. We're nowhere close to that, I don't think. The Coliseum fights are taking way too long. I would say each round of each block should be resolved within two episodes, and I don't feel like that's happening. 
I feel like it's taking four or five episodes for each block. Be well, and you're not spending the entire episode in the Coliseum, of course. But I'm just saying. Maybe they should devote one single episode to each block, and that would be it, right? And one episode is done. <laughs> Dumb ass. Ugh, I do not like the elevated animation of him. The artistic beautification. This must be a different animation style, right? I violently dislike this art for him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course he doesn't know your name. Quit fantasizing. Him and, and uh, Hancock, they should pair off. Because both of them are delusional as hell. He's starting to... He's gonna, Luffy's going to inspire an entire generation. <laughs> That's what you get for fantasizing. Hey, I'm not Luffy. What are you talking about? Now they've added a new storyline. You know... We've got the A story, B story, C story, D story, E story. This is what, the F story? <laughs> got a wild. <laughs> he hit hard, man. Some of these guys are some rough riders, man. Oh, at least we're all together. Yep, right on your head it's going to fall. Right on your head. This is some scathing social satire right here. His theme is, this may be the most theme-relevant story arc in the entire series. Oh, shit, really? Really? Hasn't it been like 10 years? He so well, he does look old. He does look old. Stop having suspicions over there. I don't want people to know. Screw that guy. Put your tongue back in your mouth, you sick bastard. It's almost like everything we've been told has been dirty, filthy lies. What do you think? <laughs> he ain't saying nothing. I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose so. Well, you got wrecked just like the rest of them. So, some king you are. Uh, that's a pretty big downgrade from king to captain. Yeah. Interesting. There's no crying in piracy slash gladiator. Good thing you didn't have to face her. She would have kicked your ass. <laughs> this is kind of sweet, man. I like this. Some people still respect him. Not anymore. Good shit. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got to keep our crowns.
You think that's true? I doubt it. That's true. Mr. Conspiracy Theory Podcaster over here might be right. That broker is named Joker. Did you do that on purpose? You're in big trouble. You had a scheme. I see. I see what this is. Yeah. I see. Well, we always got some haters in here, you know. <laughs> I'm going to kick your bald ass. Keep talking shit. Like I said. Like I said, keep talking shit. <laughs> now we're talking. Rally the troops. Hey, that toy's gonna snitch. Look at him. That's the one who was talking, right? Now that I think about it, now I sound like one of the anime characters. We saw that one toy get thrown in here. This is the same spot. I didn't make the connection. Of course, it's the same spot. That's right. You better get on your knees. On your knees. The toys, even the toys had to get up and genuflect, right? Good shit. Fall in line. I like the music here, by the way. It's subtle. The dog is devout. Somebody snitching. Interesting. <laughs> Clank. <laughs> That's a relatively new addition. I like it. Ew. Go off sound effect. Yep. Now what? Is this rescue or are they trying to kill him? Yeah. You ain't dragging my big big ass up there. <laughs> we know you can carry a grudge, you asshole. Shit. That can't be good. Maybe that's supposed to be the ultimate fate of everybody in here. Yeah. More experiments. Is this Vegapunk? Shit. That really can't be good. Ew. Oh. He's the dude who turns them into toys, I see, obviously. So they're still making toys. It wasn't just a Armageddon from 10 years ago. They're still making new toys. What's my actual job? <laughs> Thank you for the reminder of who this is. They're in hell, man. There was a Black Mirror episode like this. It's not great. Uh, it's great in quality. Not great in implication.
So the flower field was his headquarters? Ah, finally get a little bit more development here. Quit looking at me. You're disgusting. Very creepy. That's why they don't want to be seen, right? That's right. Get to work. I see. F that guy. Yeah. They're looking pissed, boy. None of them are happy. Interesting. I always love the history lessons. Oh man, you made the little person cry. Nice transition. Top notch. Get me paid. Man, when you make Frankie cry. So, 900 years ago to 800 years ago was the void century. Okay. I think I've got that in my head now. I've been told multiple times. <laughs> From tears to cheers. We're out of here. He was a good dude. On your knees, bitch. Reparations. Yep, you gotta give it up. <laughs> I can't be getting my shit stolen, man. I got I had nothing to do with that. Go talk to my ancestor. Yeah. Well, a deal's a deal, right? <laughs> I'm not laughing off my sword. I like how nobody really knows anymore what's up, right? Hey, toys should be talking less. You know the rules. <laughs> he established some uh, legends and just obfuscated uh, the whole situation so nobody knows the real story. Hey, man. It's a really good symbiotic relationship, if you think about it. Look at this. Good shit. Good shit. Yep. Screw that guy. Screw him. <laughs> you can fool some of the people some of the time. <laughs> He's a happy guy. He's a dick.
Revolution. I'm glad we touched base with the storyline again. <laughs> That's right. Get him out of here. <laughs> you have to lead the charge. You talked yourself into the situation. <laughs> That's what you better say, a hole. <laughs> Worm like. Damn, dude. There is no good way. Rotten hell. God damn. Y'all some assholes. Why is everybody so mad? I mean, yeah, that seems to be what's happening, yes. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Did he do it? Kill them all. Language. Damn, dude, that's even worse. Cut her to pieces. Yep. Reminds me of the Russians getting taken over by the uh, communists, right? Really, it's more complicated than that, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Should be fighting too, but no bloodshed. I have a feeling he is gonna die too. He feels like that tragic sacrificial character, right? Yeah. Just tell, admit who you are. We already know. <laughs> Look at him. He knows who he is. Confess. He's one of the more interesting guest characters we've had, man. I like him. <laughs> He's a tough father. <laughs> Keep fighting the good fight. I don't think that came out of nowhere for most people. A couple people are probably surprised. I think most people got that, right? Like, it was pretty obvious. But I don't think it was trying to be sneaky. I don't think it was trying to not be obvious. You know, like, the not every twist is supposed to be this, oh my God, sixth sense, shock you to the core. You had no idea up until the moment, right? Not every twist is supposed to be that way. This is just a twist. Standard twist. A few people will not get in until this moment. Most of them will. Either way, it doesn't change anything because, like, the emotional core of the characterization is just redefined for everybody now that everybody knows, right? That's the important thing to happen here. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, they, they, the royal family in Russia, I think Anastasia, was that her name? Was the one that they thought survived? Like, somebody came up and said, hey, I'm Anastasia. And she lived in poverty her entire life and died and never got anything out of it. Some people think she's delusional. Some people think she's an attention whore. 
I wonder if she was a real person. We'll never know. But it's one of the things in history that, one of history's mysteries, if you rank them. If I could ask God, okay, answer one historical mystery question. That wouldn't be the one. I'm not sure there's so many interesting historical questions. Which one would I actually ask? It would be in my top ten. I'm pretty confident I know what happened with uh, the Kennedy assassination now. You know, I believe in the uh, uh, the Secret Service. It was an accident theory. You know, a gun went off at the wrong moment and finished him off. He was going to die anyway, but it kind of finished him off, and that's why they covered it up, because it, it wasn't like he did it on purpose, and it wasn't like it killed him. He was going to die anyway, but it would look bad. Secret Service's gun going off and blowing off, the finish, finishing the process of blowing the brains out of the president, bad look. <laughs> that would be smirch your organization for all of time, right? So can't have that getting out, ever. So that would explain the government cover-up part of it, which has always been a weird part of the assassination. So that's a relatively simple explanation. You don't have to involve the mob and, you know, Castro and Nazis and aliens and shit. It's just the government covered up to protect one of their own. You know, pretty simple. So I, I'm pretty confident I know that that's what happened there. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the Anastasia thing is very interesting. They're kind of doing that here. He's kind of riffing off the idea. The father's still alive, too, which I was, I didn't think the king was. So that was a pretty good twist. That, you talk about twists. That was a good twist. I never saw that coming for a second. So that was the real plot twist of this episode as far as I'm concerned.